the first female professor of psychiatry in the Nigeria and the first female provost of the College of Medicine, University of Ibadan in Oyo State, Olayinka Umi Bodun, has explained that her father, the late Lieutenant Colonel Victor Banjo, fought on the side of the Biafra Army during the Nigeria Civil War because he was unhappy with the killings of the Igbos around the nation. Professor Omigodo, who gave this explanation in a recent interview, why, responding to a question on how she received the news of her father's execution by order of the then Biafra leader Udumegu Ojuku, noted that her father believed in and fought for one Nigeria, where no group of persons or region had domination over others. In a way, he fought for one Nigeria in his own understanding on the side of the Biafran army because of certain beliefs he had, which was clearly stated. He stated that he was unhappy with the killings of the Igbos around the nation. He believed in one Nigeria, which was stated in all the letters he wrote to my mom. Hmm. Okay, wonder shall never end. Can you imagine? <laughs> well, how did they reward him? Or uh, T.A.T. Ba. Okay, oh, you are very funny. Maybe you need you need to meet him, whatever he is, to get so that you will get the answer. When you are free with half truth or fed with half truth, the consequences are catastrophic. Remember, it was the Igbo officers that eliminated all non Igbo. Leaders in the first coup, coup, leaving Igbo leaders like Zeke on such in the first coup, which especially triggered the counter coup in which Igbo officers were rewarded with death in return and then the Biafra war. And it is only Igbo that carried the coup. Be fooling yourself. In August 1965, group of army majors Emmanuel Ifajuna, Timothy Omwatuigu, Chris Anufuru, Don Okafo, Onfrey Chukwemeka, and Adewale Ademoyega began plotting a coup attack against incumbent Prime Minister Abubakar Balewa. So Yoruba was part of the ring leader and he wrote a book about it. Why we struck, try, read what was written by your tribes, man, and stop being unreasonable. And the same people he was fighting for came back to kill him like an ordinary goods in public places. It shows he doesn't even understand and read what he stands for. Trust Ibu before others to your detriment. The daughter is not even ashamed to see B writing is there instead of allowing it to be forgotten. Why she why she should be ashamed? Why would she be ashamed? This is one of the reasons we cannot support Peter B to become president you be you before you people are betrayer of the highest order hmm. history we recommend him as just man who feels the pains of others and bravely fought on the side of handicapped and his memory will linger on linger on forever and as a hero he produced a professor who will carry on his legacies and what did he get in return he got the same reason why Igbos were being killed and he will now be regretting in hell. You can't even stop devils against your country. Knowing fully well that devil has no other gifts other than wickedness. After all this, the devil decides to give the only gift in his store. If indeed Kone Ujuku had him executed, Ujuku indeed was a coward, afraid of superior soldiers committed to the cause. Ask why he did that. It is T. Ojuku that liberated him from prison. But it was Ojuku that lured him into the trap of Inrosi, where he treacherously betrayed the revolution of January 15, 1966. Late Victor Banjo did not fight for Biafra people. For a fight for Biafra, people should stop twisting history. Victor Banjo fought to liberate the Oduduas. That was the agreement he had with. General Ujuku. When he got to Midi Midwest in Benin, he declared the Midwest of Nigeria, Benin Republic, getting to Ore, a British envoy who has had 
some discussions with Awolowo interfered with Victor Banjo's advancement. It was when it was from that point Victor Banjo truncated the liberation moment for the Oduduras by retreating from the advancement into the heartland of the Oduduras for the declaration of Odudua Republic. <laughs> Banjo was more enlightened than liberation of the alleged Odudua nation. The Egbe Omo was only our gimmicks to capture power. See, different, different history. Who is going to get this old thing right? Even the history that even some people have documented, are they even really true? Not to talk of the one that was, uh, you know, that will have this jointedness. You see that I was just trying to go through the reactions of people. This one will say this, this one will say this. Where are all these documented? That is the question you need to be asking yourself. Where are all these documented? Nowhere. In this life, you have to gingerly pick your fights and so intelligently, smartly, so that at the end of the day, you will not be used as a sacrificial lamb without any um, sinkler of benefits. So me, from the story my uncle Suja said, Banjo had no fault but just suspicious of what he did not do that he was accused of. Well, trust Igbo at your own peril. They are haters and never appreciate any tribe. Okay? Yes and no. Having been detained by the Nigeria army before the outbreak of civil war, now his detention sends her in the east. He was ostensibly liberated by Ojuku. He had to fight on the Biafra side, but Victor Banjo believed in Nigeria. When a capture or a for Biafra, they are there came a dilemma. He, may, he made a speech wanting to consult other members of the Nigerian nation. Ujugu felt betrayed and, assassinate, and assassinate, assassinated him. In the contradictory speech, he spoke something like about two southern regions and yet seeking out other ethnic nationalities. Can you imagine? He was not liberated. That is not how to liberate a prisoner. Ujugu ought to have allowed him to go back to his home but rather forcefully drafted him to the biafra side that is the truth of his involvement into the biafra war banjo wanted to come back home but he was not allowed his daughter is writing who are we to believe that is the question that's the cuckoo so guys let us know your thoughts and have your take on this the problem is that there are lots of disjointed stories here and there, history here and there. People want to say whatever that will favor them. The only person that will make this country better, somebody who is patriotic and somebody who is ready to do the needful. And before you know it, everything will be in place. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.